hi everyone welcome back to my channel called DTP um, I hope you guys enjoyed last week's video um, hope you guys had a, a great week uh, today I just wanted to kind of send encouragement um, and send strength I know that it's so much going on in the world right now um, so many people dying you know losing your loved ones losing your job um, not making enough money, finances just all over the place, and it's just been a struggle. I know that, you know, everywhere I turn, I've been going through it, and I've been struggling myself, and so I know that there are so many people right now that are just feeling like they can't catch a break. They just, they can't win no matter, you know, which way they go, and so I just kind of wanted to strengthen you guys and let you know that. I know it's so much going on and I know you're tired and I know you don't want to do it no more and you're losing your fight and you're losing your stamina and you're losing your strength but I just wanted to let you guys know that it'll, it'll come to an end eventually. It's almost over. It can't last forever. It can't keep going. You know, keep fighting, keep pushing. You know, each and every day you get closer to your goal. Each and every day there's another day you made it when you thought that you couldn't make it through so hold your head up high keep getting up every morning and I know you're tired and you're struggling and you're stressing but keep getting up keep fighting keep pushing because there's someone watching you there's someone that when they see you get up and you push and you fight and you keep moving that it just gives them a little bit more strength wow if he can go through all that and keep getting up then I can do it if she can go through all that and keep getting up then I can do it you know what seeing them has made me feel a little bit more strengthened so you know what now I'm going to keep getting up and pushing you never know who's paying attention to you or who's watching your life you know or who feels like even though you feel so weak and you feel so vulnerable and you don't feel like you're doing a great job at whatever it is that you're doing there's always somebody watching there's always someone like wow look at them you know wow they're I cannot believe they're still going but like that's crazy you know when it just shows God strength you because and there's no way we can fight these battles ourselves or fight them alone you know and with God strength and with his power he empowers us to just keep getting up daily and to keep moving and to keep pushing even when we feel like we can't do it no more like okay I could I just cannot I'm tired that was the last straw that was it for me like I can no longer do it he'll step in when you need him to and he'll pick you up and he'll carry you the rest of the way and so um I wrote down a, a couple Bible scriptures and these ones they always make me feel a lot better um you know and i have like sticky notes i wrote sticky notes and i stick them around the house you know and you can do the same just you know on one of those days where you're just not feeling that great you walk into your bathroom and on your mirror boom there's a you know a bible scripture something to just make you feel a little bit more strength and like i didn't feel that great but now after reading that now i feel a lot better so one of them is trust in the lord with all your heart do not depend on your own understanding and that's proverbs um three and five now that one you know that pretty much speaks for itself you know when we're going through things and when we're struggling and when we're tired you know we always feel like god is a listener that he doesn't care but in reality it's the complete opposite you know it's majority of time it's something that we've asked for and in order to get that thing that we ask for god has to make sure that we're prepared for it so it's a bunch of things that we have to go to go through to to kind of help build our character and, and to help create us into that person or that thing that we want it like you know he can't just give you whatever you want whenever you want it it's it's certain things that we have to work on that we have to fix in order to get those things that we want so that thing you may be going through right now you may feel like it's meant to break you but in reality it's meant to to recreate you it's meant to make you into that person god needs you to be in order for you to get that blessing um the second one that i wrote down is for we walk by faith and not by sight that's second corinthians 5 and 7. again like we get so overwhelmed by our storm and by the things that we're going through that we assume that we're just out there alone in the water and you know we're going to drown and that god's not going to come rescue so that he sees us struggling that he just doesn't care and he's not paying attention but he is you know and a lot of times as i said before in other videos the devil you know he he, he has nothing better to do with his time his job is to step in and discourage you to step in and make you feel like you're by yourself and that no one cares or that no one's listening that no one's watching out for you that no one knows what you're going through that is just you and on reality that's a lie you know and I've even had times where like I'll leave church Sunday and I feel so great like ooh, that was a great word like I cried out I feel amazing and then the next day boom is like here come all these doubts here come all these negative thoughts here comes everything 
to make you feel like what you just heard, you know, wasn't real or that wasn't for you. And that's just the devil trying to discourage you. He doesn't like it when he sees us um, get strengthened, when he sees us trusting in God a little bit more, when he sees us go, you know what, this don't look right. I don't know what's going to happen or how this is going to happen, but I trust God enough to keep walking. Like I trust him enough to keep pushing. And that's kind of where your mind had more your mindset has to be and easier said than done because it's not easy to get up and walk into a situation where you know this is what you should do but it just doesn't feel right or you just don't know how it's going to happen you don't know how in the world is god going to take this and how is he going to make like he's telling me that this is what it's going to be but I, I have no idea how this is going to happen like this just doesn't make any sense but god is god he knows all things and when he tells you to do something specific, he's not telling you to do it just because he just telling you to do something. It's a reason why he's telling you to do it. And you got to learn how to trust him. I was just telling my husband this, you know, it's always so scary when you're stepping out to do something new. Like it's terrifying. I'm always terrified when it comes to stepping out and doing something. And it doesn't get any easier. In my opinion, it doesn't get any easier. The only option is to trust God. Like, and you know, you can tell him, you know, I say it all the time, like, Lord, I don't know where we're going. I don't know how we're going to do this, but I feel you pulling me to do this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't feel like it is even going to work out, but I trust you enough to keep pushing. I trust you enough to keep moving. I'm scared. I'm terrified because I don't know where this road is going to lead to, but I trust you enough to keep moving and to keep pushing. And that's just kind of the way that you have to go. You can't look at the situation you just have to look at god and you got to keep moving you got to keep going you got to keep pushing even though you're tired even though you can't take it anymore you got to keep going um the next one is for god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power of love and of a strong mind that's second timothy one and seven again like fear is always creeping in it's always somewhere waiting to just jump out and attack you, you know, and it's nothing wrong with being afraid because we're human. It, it happens. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm afraid of so many things, so many things that discourage me that make me feel like, you know, I'm not good enough or I may not be doing a good job at whatever it is that I'm trying to do, but I try my best to focus my attention on God and go, okay, God, if you ask me to do this, like if you said, daughter, do this thing, then that means I need to do this thing. But it also means that you're going to be with me as I do this thing and that you're going to strengthen me, that you're going to encourage me. You're not just going to tell me to do something and leave me by myself to get it done. No, you're going to be with me. You're going to carry me. You're going to talk to me as I'm doing this thing. And that right there is enough because if God is with you, if God is walking with you, if he if he has your back, there's you can't lose when God is with you. There's no way that you can fail when God is with you. Even if you think that you might have failed, you cannot fail if God is with you. And so as long as he's with you, with you you're you're okay. Everything's going to work itself out. Everything is going to be okay. And again, easier said than done because it's always scary. It's always terrifying when you're stepping out of something that you're used to into something that you're not used to. It's going to be extremely uncomfortable, but there is nothing comfortable about God because he's going to always put you in uncomfortable places. And again, that's another sign. Like when you're in a space and you're just com completely uncomfortable, that means God has you there for a reason. Like that means he placed you there because I swear every time it's like, God, what is this? Like, I'll be telling him, Lord, done set me up because, see, you told me to do this, but you didn't tell me that it was going to come with X, Y, Z. Now I'm sitting here all afraid and struggling. And it's just, you just got to keep allowing God to do those things in you because the more you're afraid, the more you're uncomfortable, the more you allow him to work through you, the more you allow him to be God and you learn to trust him, then you'll get better at those things. And one day you'll be like, oh, wow, I remember trying this and being so terrified. And now look at me like I'm so much better now than I was a few weeks ago or a month ago or two days ago. It works out so much quicker than you think that it will. The problem is that we focus so much, my daughter, you focus so much on what can go wrong instead of focusing on what can go right. There's a million things that can go wrong when you do something, right? But there's also a million things that can go right, right? So, for instance, when we start these videos, I was terrified. Man, people aren't going to listen. Who am I to try to get on here and encourage somebody? Like, 
I don't, you know, what, what am I? Who am I to do any of those things? But I felt God told me to do it. So I said, fine. Okay, I'll step out and do it. The worst thing that can happen is no one listens. Oh, she looks stupid. Oh, she sounds dumb. Whatever. There's a million things that can go wrong. But there's a million things that can go right. People can look forward to these videos. People can watch these videos and get strengthened. People can feel like, oh, wow. You know what? What she just said touched my heart. I have no idea what God's doing. All I'm doing is simply moving and trusting him that he's going to do whatever it is that needs to be done. And that's the end of it. You know, you just have to to know that whatever he asks you to do, he's going to be with you and he's going to encourage you. And that's just simply it. You can't focus on a situation. You have to focus on him and know that if he told you to do it, then everything will be okay. Everything will work his way. Everything will work his way out exactly the way it is supposed to be. It'll be so perfect. You'll be like, yo, there's no way. How did this happen? It's because God made it happen. Because God knew exactly what you needed. He knew exactly where you would be. He would know exactly what you would do, what you would say. And he was right there with you the whole time. Um, and the last one I have written down is be still and know that I am God. That's Psalms 4610. Now that one is my favorite. I think that if I had to pick a Bible scripture, that would be my favorite one. Because us as humans, we get so worried, we get so stressed out, you know, and we focus so much again, like I said, on the negative things that we don't allow God to be who he is. I think that the most important thing about God is, is trusting him, right? So if God says, get in your car and, and, and drive up the street, and you go, Lord, I don't got no gas. God ain't actually if he had no gas. He said, get in that car and go. So that means get in the car and go. Don't ask questions. Don't think about, oh man, well, you know, what about this and what about you? You're thinking too much. You're talking too much. Just do what he asks you to do. And, you know, being still, trusting that he's going to do what he said he was going to do. So that means if you got to get up and you have to go to work and you're just tired, you know, you feel like quitting and you know it's going to be a bad day. You know how, um, some days at work are busier than others and you know today's just not gonna be a good day, day at work you know what i should really just call off i'm not gonna go and you're ready to get up and you're ready to quit and you're not ready to do anything but you have to be still and let god move you have to be patient patience is a killer because i am so impatient so waiting patiently on god sometimes can and it feel like two days i feel like you've been waiting two months <laughs> it's like and I'm sure it's only about two days. It, feel, it had to be at least a month. You sure? Being patient is a very, very, very hard thing to do. But I feel like while you're being patient, while you're waiting on God, you're giving him room to move. You're giving yourself room to trust. Because for one, in order to trust God in the first place, you have to allow him to be God. Like in order to build faith and to build trust, you have to give him you have to give him a second to show you, right? To show you who he is, you know, building that relationship with him because just like a relationship with anybody else, in order for you to trust the person that you're in a relationship with, you have to give them a chance to prove who they are. You know, you can, you, you, no one just simply trust, trust people just because they want to trust people. But honestly speaking, God has proven himself more than enough times. But for your own personal experience, like I tell my husband now, for me, I've been through so many different things where I had no choice but to trust God. And, and so I did. And it's like, oh, wow, he said this will happen or he said he would do this. And he did it like, oh, my God, I can't believe he actually did it. Like, I didn't think he would. He was listening to me or he cared. But he did this thing. You know, I, it's impossible. I don't even know how it happened. But God made it happen. It's something that you have to do on your own. No one can make you trust God. No one can teach you how to trust God. I feel like it's something you have to go through in your own with your own personal experiences with him. And that's that's all about building a relationship with him. And in order to trust him, when he asks you to do something or, you know, when you feel it in your heart to do something specific, you have to do it. Even if you're scared, even if you're terrified, even if you don't know how it's going to work out, do it. Move. Even if you got to do it super slow, do it. And allow God to reveal himself to you so that way you can learn how to trust him and have faith that when he tells you he's going to do something he's going to do it or even if you don't feel like he's going to do it trust him anyway have faith anyway because God isn't going to allow us to get hurt he's not going to allow bad things to just happen to us you feel me he's not going to He's not going to sit there and watch you drown and just go, oh, well, like, whatever. She got herself in that mess. No, he's, God is going to be there. He's going to help you. He's going to carry you every step of the way. And so you have to allow him to be God and you have to trust him. But being still, that is a very, very, very hard thing to do because we, we you know, 
Okay, so say if God goes, hey, I'm going to give you $20. Somebody's going to give you $20. And it's going to last you the whole week, right? So every time you spend money, you get nervous and you get worried and you, I don't know, it's get, we getting down to the wire now. You know, in the beginning, you're feeling good, right? Oh, I got $18 left. Okay, I'm good. All right, now I got 15 Okay, that should still be enough for me to make it. Okay, we got 10 All right, we halfway through it. But you know what? And then we got a couple days left. And you know, you down to that last day and, and you got $19 left and 98 cents. You're like, oh, man, like this is it. I'm down to the last bit. Like there's no, okay, how am I going to make this work? How is this going to work? What's going to happen? And then just like that, God will come through for you. But in order for you to get to that moment of trust, like you have to trust him, you have to wait and be patient. You can't, you know, when, when it now looks like he's not going to come through you, that that's, you can't start freaking out and start wondering and start worrying. You got to continue to trust him just like you did in the beginning. When he first told you what was going to happen and you go, okay, God, I trust you because it, you know, it's easy to, it's easy to say trust. It's easy to trust God when you feel like everything is going to go right. And when it looks good and when it's like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, no, God, I trust you. This is going to work out. It's a lot harder to trust him when you can't see where he's taking you or what he's saying to you doesn't make sense or you can't figure out how in the world this is like there's no way he can make this work like there's no way he can make this happen with what i have how it's not possible but it is possible anything is possible with god like i cannot say that enough it's nothing is impossible with god like he can literally make anything happen and it sounds so crazy right but it's so it's so crazy the way that he works and the way that he does things but i can say it for myself he can make anything happen like anything is possible if you just trust and believe and have faith you know and, and i don't mean saying i trust you because you like i said you know the outcome but saying i trust you even when you don't no, like you have no idea like lord i don't know how i'm going to make it i don't know how we're going to get through this there's not enough food in my refrigerator i cannot feed my kids with this there's not enough money in my bank account there's no way i can pay these bills there's there's not enough gas in my car for me to get to my job today how, how, there's no way that this can work god you can't make this work and somehow he makes it work you're blinking all of a sudden you got more gas in your tank or you know you go to work and there's a nice co-worker there and she offers you money or you go, somebody knocks on your door and you go on your doorstep and there's groceries on the porch. Lord, what? Lord, how? Lord, when? Lord, why? I don't know, but he did it again. He has made it happen. Anything is possible when you trust God. So I know you're going through a lot. I know you're tired. I know you're stressing. I know you're struggling. I know you're wondering when is this storm going to be over for me? I know you're like, Lord, why does this keep happening to me? I'm tired. I can't take it anymore. I know, I know, I know you're stressed and you're freaking out, but continue to trust God because just like he got you where you are today, he's going to get you to the next place that you need to get to. He's going to be with you. He's going to walk with you. He's going to talk with you. He's going to carry you. He's going to encourage you. So continue to trust him. Continue to love him him continue to pray you continue to worship you continue to do whatever it is that you need to do but know that god is with you and that you are not alone and that you're not suffering in silence that there's a reason for your struggle and that when you get out of the struggle you're going to be so happy that you went through it because you're going to come out a different person you're going to be like lord there's no way i would be who i am today if i didn't go through that lord there's no way i could have done what i've done if you didn't put me through this so be thankful for your storms sometimes because those very storms are the storms that create you to be that person you need to be those very storms are what get you to them, those blessings you've been looking for. So keep going through that storm. Keep struggling. Keep stressing. But continue to trust God and know that he's with you. He hears you. He's listening. And he is right there. You're not by yourself. You're not alone. I pray that this message, you know, I pray that you guys receive this. I pray that it helps strengthen you, that it helps encouraging you, that you just continue to trust God through all these storms, through all these things that you're going through and know that you're not by yourself, that you're not alone. I pray that you guys have a blessed week, that you guys continue to, you know, comment, like, share, subscribe to the channel, keep watching the videos, keep feeling encouraged, and just know that God is with you, that you're not by yourself. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.